So my name is Ms. Rivera and I have 6th, 7th and 8th grade for tutoring. I switch with band and drumline so I do their tutoring. And then for second session I also have cheer. Because a lot of them don't understand or don't like to ask the questions in the classroom. So they sometimes feel more comfortable when they have a tutor or two tutors in the room rather than having the teacher teach and raising your hand and interrupting class. Even though that's what we tell them to do but they don't usually do that. Yes, yeah, especially with math. Because math, there's many ways to solve one simple problem. And sometimes they don't get the way that they're being taught, or sometimes they just need to hear it one more time or hear it a different way, like, oh, this is easy. I have cheer twice a week, and I have them practice when we have a parade, sometimes all week. They have parades on Saturdays and sometimes Fridays. And we have them practicing cheers. I'm about to teach them a dance right now. It gets them a little bit out of their shell. An example for me, when I was little, I was very shy. Still am, kind of. But being in a team and yelling, it gets you out of the shell. It gets you to perform in front of people when you usually wouldn't stand in front of people and do a presentation. Yes, we go to, we've gone to the soccer games and volleyball games and had them cheer for their class schoolmates, classmates, because they're older. But it teaches them all about their sports and having school pride. I encourage parents to come and learn more about our ELOP program and come in and sign up their students. Your student will have a great time here with us.